How to Discover Your Life's Purpose This is the moment you've been waiting for. Now we're going to help you to discover your purpose in life. The reason that you are on this earth. Just in case you may already think that you know what your true calling is, please answer the following questions related to your career or business. Do you jump out of bed at the beginning of each new day fueled by passion for what you are doing? Does your career or business fulfill all of your needs deep inside to express your opinion? Use the talents that you have and match all your core values? Do you have a well-balanced life where you are able to do the things that you do as well as work such as spending time with your family and pursuing your favorite pastimes? Are you really doing something that you love? If you could honestly answer yes to all of these questions, then you have already found your purpose in life as far as your career or business is concerned. But if some or all of your answers were no, then that's okay because we're going to provide you with the tools to fix this. For most people, their day starts by hitting the snooze button on their alarm clock a few times and then finally dragging themselves out of bed dreading the thought of another day at their job or business that is full of stress and very low on satisfaction. It's never too late. Some people believe that it is too late for them to discover their true purpose in life. They believe that their true calling passed them by years ago and they are stuck with what they have. Now they are older and have a lot less choice when it comes to work. This is nonsense and it is never too late to discover your purpose in life. And when you do find this by following the advice in this video, you will probably find that you end up doing something completely different to what you are doing today. Anyone can get an unsatisfying job that pays the bills. There are plenty of them around. But they will never fulfill you and meet your innermost needs. Unfortunately, a lot of people find themselves in this situation. They have a hole in their very being because they are missing out on satisfaction with the thing that they spend the majority of their time doing. Studies have shown that people who really love their work tend to live longer than those that don't. How do you feel about your work? Do you eagerly anticipate that long commute to your office every day? Is it satisfying to work for a boss that has completely different values to you? How are Sunday evenings for you? If you were totally happy with what you do, it is very unlikely that you would be watching a training like this. You wouldn't need it, would you? Because everything would be rosy in the garden for you. Do you ever say to yourself, there has got to be something better than this? There certainly is, and you are about to discover it. Find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed and take some paper and a pen with you. You are about to answer some questions that will assist you in discovering the purpose of your life. This is very serious stuff, so you need to take it seriously. What really excites you? For the majority of the time, your life's purpose is what makes you excited. If you are doing something for a living that does not excite you, then this clearly is not your passion. The fact that you have to drag yourself out of your bed in the mornings and spend a lot of your time at work clock watching tells you that something is very wrong. You may believe that you do not have any talents, but this is not the case. We were all born with a particular talent that makes us unique and very special. It is just a matter of finding this talent. When you discover what this talent is, you need to understand that you are not just going to be perfect at it right away. It will take time to learn and practice. Have you ever had the feeling that when you try something for the very first time, you already know how to do it? Think back when this happened to you and recall what it was that you were doing for the first time. It is essential that you totally trust something in your life. There is no room for cynicism when you are looking for your true calling. If you have a strong feeling in your gut about something, then this could be your purpose in life. Think about what you did in the past that really made a difference in your life. We have all had aha moments. So what were yours? What really got you excited in your life before? Write all of the answers that you get on paper. Ask the question why. The question why is very powerful. When you are considering doing something in your life, ask yourself why you want to do it. If you are faced with something that you don't want to do, then ask yourself why you don't want to do it. When you understand why you do the things that you like to do and why you avoid the things that you don't want to do, it will provide you with clarity on your life's purpose. Ask yourself some why questions about your work. Are you doing this kind of work because it pays well, for example? The answer that you need to hear with every why question that you ask yourself is, it fulfills me. This is a big clue to the true purpose of your life. If you are doing something now that makes you excited and you are not sure the reason for this, then ask why. It will probably be because it fulfills you. Your life's purpose is all about fulfillment. It is not about doing things for the most money or because of fear. Once you find those fulfilling things, then you need to act on them right away. It is important not to suppress things that truly fulfill you. What are your inner dreams? 
We all have secret inner dreams and longings, and you need to pay careful attention to these. This is your soul telling you that you should not be doing what you are currently doing and switch to this instead. It is your purpose in life. Think about these dreams that are inside you and write them down. Here are some examples to get you going. Do you dream of being a famous actor? Do you dream of being someone that really makes a difference? Do you dream of writing the next best-selling book? Do you dream of helping people to improve their lives? You need to trust your soul when you are doing this. Your soul knows what it wants and will never try to fool you. If this were beyond your capabilities and talents, then your soul would not make this an inner longing for you. It is your true calling, so you need to pay attention to it. What are you struggling with? With all of your major life challenges, there's very likely to be a common thread that connects them. The things that really challenge you are telling you something really important. They are telling you you need to grow to fulfill your life's purpose and be the person that you were meant to be. Here are some examples. Do you struggle with your sense of self-worth? Do you find it difficult to trust anyone and anything? Do you feel that nothing ever works for you? Do you feel that life is bombarding you with things that you do not want to respond to? Write anything down that comes to mind here. These are very important clues and will help you decide where you need to look further to find your purpose in life. What is really important to you? Time for soul searching and total honesty. Ask yourself what really matters to you in life and write everything down. Think about the different areas of your life here and don't just focus on your work. Is your family important in your life? Is financial freedom very important to you? Is helping others really important for you? Ask yourself what you really want to be remembered for. What do you want people to be saying about you when you are gone? When you know what is really important for you in your life, then you will be very close to identifying your true purpose in life. What are you good at? A lot of people believe that they are not good at anything. Are you like this? This is simply not true. We are all good at more than one thing. Our modesty prevents us from talking and thinking about this. Well, now it is time to forget about modesty. Think back to your childhood and start to remember the things that you were good at. Maybe you were good at painting or mathematics at school. Then move forward and identify those things that you were good at as an adult. Write all of these down. If nothing comes to mind, then ask yourself the question again. Nobody is watching you, so you don't have to worry about modesty. When you have a list of the things that you are good at, you can add to this anytime you want. Then you will see clues here to your life's purpose. What do you enjoy doing? Answering this question should be a lot easier for you. Again, you need to think back to all of the things that you have enjoyed doing in your life starting in childhood. When you have a list of things that you enjoy, look for commonalities between them. Maybe as a child, you enjoyed being in the school play and then later in life, you wanted to learn to sing or play the guitar. This could be telling you that your true calling in life is to entertain people. What do your close friends and family think? People that are close to you will know you more than you might think. Ask them an innocent question such as, what do you think that I would be best suited doing? Don't tell them that you are trying to discover your purpose in life unless you know they will be supportive. Do not take the answers that you get from others to be your life's purpose as you are likely to get several different points of view. But consider what they tell you carefully as there are likely to be clues there that will help you. What frustrates you? Here are bound to be things in your life that frustrate you. Think about these and write them down. Do not concern yourself whether these things are within your control or not. This should be fairly straightforward for you to do. Think about your own thoughts and actions or lack of action that frustrates you. Do you start things and never finish them? Does the behavior of another person frustrate you? Take a close look at your answers and decide what you would like to see change. Do new things. You are not always going to discover your true purpose in life the first time around. It can take trial and error to find this. So open your mind to trying some new things. What have you always wanted to do but never did? When you try new things, it is likely that you will need to move outside your comfort zone, which a lot of people have difficulty with. You need to get over this and do them anyway. Keep in mind that you could discover something that is your purpose in life. It doesn't matter if you succeed or fail when you have first attempt new things. The most important thing is that it meets a need within you. What satisfies you? The ultimate test of whether something is connected with your life's purpose is the satisfaction that you get from doing it. Please be aware that finding your purpose in life is likely to take time, so you need to be persistent in your efforts. We never said it was going to be easy, 
but it is certainly worth it. Do you have a bucket list? A common trend these days is to have a bucket list. If you are not familiar with this, it is a list of things that you want to do before you die or kick the bucket. If you do not currently have a bucket list, then we highly recommend that you create one for yourself. When you have a bucket list, it will include things that you consider to be essential for your fulfillment. This is very important as a lot of things on your bucket list will provide you with clues to your life's purpose. To create a bucket list, ask yourself the question, what things do I want to do before I die? Don't be concerned about anything that comes to mind. Just write everything down. Many people publish their bucket lists online so you can look for examples that will provide you with inspiration. In the next video, we will discuss how visualization can help you to discover your life's purpose.